Alright, what's up guys? So, Hot T has uploaded a video titled, Trisha Paytas Still Doesn't Think She's White. Now, I don't know what race she's going to necessarily say that she thinks she is, um, but if it's the go-to race that everybody always likes to claim to be, and they know that they're not, because they have two, you know, Caucasian parents, <laughs> and I'm like, I, I find it, like, extremely difficult to be black. And you can clearly look at your parents and be like, both of them guys is they're they're not black. And I'm like, I you know, even if they're tan, like you you still can see that they're not black and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe it's something else. There is it can be the one guy where he's like he thought he could get some surgery and then out of nowhere he just, you know, is Korean. But I'm like, it don't work like that. You know, you're Korean if you were born in that country like it, it's one thing I feel like that if you are but even I even I feel like if somebody is like that's born in Korea like so let's say for an example like because I know like sometimes it could be like a military situation right both my like let's say both my parents is in the military they you know um like decide to have me over in Korea. I could, you know, born, raised there and whatever, uh, learned like how to speak Korean and all of that. I'm still black at the end of the day. Like, you know, but yeah, I was born in Korea, but I'm like, I'm still black. Like, you know, you can't like, and it's like, if both of my parents is the, wherever they're from and stuff, I'm like, at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like even then I'm like, yeah, I was born and raised there, but I can't necessarily, I just feel like it's a heritage thing. Like, if your heritage don't come from there, then it's like, you can't claim that to be yours and stuff. Like, so I just, you know, like, I feel like with me, like, yeah, my heritage is primarily black and things. And I'm like, even if I go deep down, it's like, yeah, and I think I did hear that it was like my third great grandmother. She was Indian, but I'm like, I ain't gonna just go around and be like, oh yeah, I'm Indian guys. Cause my third great grandmother, something ain't had nothing to do with me. And I'm like, and everybody else in my whole family, they are all black. I'm like, yeah, fam. It's like both my parents and their parents is black. And it's, you know, it's more like my grandparents, they're black. My parents, black. That. I'm black, so I'm like, yeah, probably deep down in my, you know, family roots is some other stuff that's in the mix, but I feel like primarily the main uh, thing, like the main percentage is going to be black, all right? So anyways, let's go ahead and check out this video. Um, guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to my good friend, Hot T. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, her um, personal channel, Raver Hemi, and her, um, I think she still uploads on, I need to check to see, but uh, yeah, I think she still um, does post on her, her business channel, Build Your Pocket. But anyways, let's refresh this page because I did open this uh, video up a while ago, a few days ago. But anyways. All right. Let's see. Let's see what Trisha Paytas is on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. You know the drill and what to do with that subscribe button, so let's not waste any time and let's just get right into it. Grab a snack and get comfy and let's spill some tea. Trisha Paytas gave us a um, look this week and it actually turned out to be something she created for a video titled Trisha Paytas Answers the Web's Most Searched Questions Wired Parody. Likely you have seen these interviews before mm. where Wired gets a celebrity in and does an interview but with a twist. Wired presents the celeb with cards that have the internet's most searched questions on them and they go through and answer them as they are revealed. I'm Steve Carell. And I'm Kristen Wiig. My name is Michael B. Jordan. If you don't know who I am, you're at the wrong place. Today we're doing the Wired <laughs> Complete Interview. God loves uh, freaking Samuel L. Jackson. Complete interview. Some of these questions are pretty hilarious and if you use Google on the regular, you know that some weird ass questions yeah. get typed into that search bar oh, yeah. quite frequently. There is, I had to say the weirdest was that i seen because i think my like there is a day i don't know what it was but my arm was like twitching and stuff and i'm like bro what's going on like am i turning into something i'm like if so i'm like can i like do this at a later date because i'm like there's still things i need to do like let this happen when i'm like 80 90 years old if i'm gonna turn into something where i'm like okay i've lived out my life had my family did everything i need to do not right now i'm like i, I you know i just i don't want to become no military experiment right now <laughs> but no i think i typed out why does my arm twitch and there was like other things like besides the question that i was looking up but it was like why does my arm twitch when I eat dirt? And it's like, okay, time out, pause. Like, just wait, wait a minute. 
why are you eating dirt? Like, what? what is, like, are you falling and then, like, dirt gets and then your arm just starts, like, I'm, I'm confused by that one. So that's why I'm like, fam, like, no, just stop eating dirt. If, like, I'm saying there's most likely you're either eating the wrong dirt that you should not be eating or that is, this just something that just happens to people. It's like, don't eat dirt, okay? So unless you're falling and then, you know, you can't control it. But anyways. Guys, wear underwear. <laughs> Guys, uh, Star Wars fans, is this what yeah. we're doing right now? Well, Trisha decided to do this, but she wasn't asked by Wired themselves, so she just did it yeah. herself. I've seen, I'm doing I've, seen, I've seen people do that before, where it's like they don't, because I think I've seen people do that with uh, the Genius um, videos, where they, they read off their lyrics, but they just do a, their own version. Um, Wired, auto the quick slip in of the parody kills me. Like, just so you know, they didn't ask me to do this. Nope, they didn't. <laughs> One of the top questions is why did Trisha Paytas get canceled? Which time? <laughs> um, I've gotten canceled for everything from being open about like my gender struggles to, um, I don't know, I just stop being friends with people. <laughs> people just want to cancel me. I cannot with her with the gender thing anymore. I just physically cannot. Like, she's so back and forth with it. It's incredibly frustrating. And I really feel like it's just an offense at this point. When the card asks, why does Trisha talk so fast? She says that it's because no one has ever let her finish a sentence. And it's been like that forever. So mm. she has become accustomed to talking fast. This is giving, I found a reason to justify something really annoying about myself. So I don't have to change it. Mm -hmm. I know that talking fast is like the last thing on the list of what is terrible about Trisha Paytas, but it kind of reminds me of this. You act like you're like 55 years old all the time. Being like everything about you is just like, I'm 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you act like you're 16 when you go, mm -hmm. after every word. I have unresolved trauma from 16. That's why I revert back to it. That's what my therapist says. It's my way of coping with the trauma. So thanks for well, bringing that up. Well, I have. Five year was really dark, and that's why I dress like this and act like this. <laughs> it wasn't just a phase, man. Like, she found something. <laughs> just, I swear, man. People on TikTok, nah, it's. I just shout out to the people on TikTok. I, that that's all I gotta sense say. And fits into an explanation on why she is the way she is, so she doesn't have to work on it anymore. No discernible talent, no education. Well, I'll be damned. She literally said something truthful. Which mm -hmm. Trisha character is this? And pretty much um, any religion that happens. Okay, so who wants what? Her? She also says that she might be quadrupling her chances of getting into heaven, so I guess it's all just a numbers game for her. But in terms oh, she sounds for those that have seen that movie, she sounds like that religious woman from uh uh The Mist. Like that is like it's a good movie, but there's this one like super religious lady in there, and I'm like, fam, like honestly, if I were to see, if I were to get stuck in that store, um, with Trisha Paytas and that religious woman, I'm like, nah, whatever them creatures are, I'm like, y'all can take me now. I'm like, just just go ahead and take me. I'm like, I want to be the sa I threw my arms up and said, I want to be the sacrifice. I'm like, take me, cause I I can't I can't do this. Both of them together, this whole uh, store is going to blow up. Like, we're going to just all wake up and this whole place is going to be on fire. When she is asked about what zodiac sign she is, she's a Taurus, by the way, and so am I. <laughs> she says that she doesn't really believe in all of that. She says that the bull is stubborn, it's whatever, so maybe she doesn't recognize the zodiac stuff because she doesn't like her result. I, so here's the thing, because I'm more so, I'll like... When I see like zodiac sign stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, interesting. But it's it's when people are like, oh no, I can tell that you know you're you know, or it, it's like more so with relationships because I've heard like people like there's been like people that I'm friends with that they're like, oh, I'll never date like a, a Leo or I'll never date a Cancer or I'll never date an Aquarius, and it's like fam like if like why because i'm like my thing is this you never really know in stuff like based off of that person and you just you won't know unless they're all like oh yeah this is my birthday and they surprise you with it and stuff so i just think like when people when they talk like that it's like yeah it's just you know like i personally don't care about it but it's like it's interesting at times but i'm not gonna like look a woman in the face and be like oh no you're you're a leo and i'm a leo and leos don't match and so i'm sorry but i, I can't i can't you know i can't tell that to somebody and so anyways this is so exciting i didn't know i was so popular oh we are confident trisha today <laughs> is trisha paytas why <laughs> everyone uh -oh. thinks 
I'm anything but Caucasian. Um, that is not a flex, though. I would have said yes because my parents look very Caucasian. However, I've done the ancestry. Oh, here we go. Those. I'm like Moroccan, but then like Katie hearing from me, girls are from Africa. So I don't really know. I mean, I guess I'm a little African in me. A little Greek, but I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm white. Trisha, you are white. I'm sorry to break <laughs> it to you. Someone out there Googled if Trisha is a new Florida. Oh my and no, God. she is not. But apparently she was asked to come in for an audition and never really heard back. She says that the part that she auditioned for was never in the show, so maybe it was fake, but she makes it clear that she is available for season three. Euphoria hmm. is about high school kids. What part exactly would Trisha play? Yeah. Like the lunch lady, maybe? Like the teacher? Well, then again, I'm like, Snoop Dogg, he made a movie where he was a uh, high school, so they'll they'll think of some. I feel like that will honestly be like the, the part of the show where it's like, okay, like, now how does this... You know, like, because there's always, like, that point in time in the show where it's like, if, would that really happen? I mean, I already know the show is fictional, but I'm like, but a part of me wants to believe that it's real. But it's like, would, would that really happen? So I, I, I can see it. I'm like, you know, I just feel like with how Hollywood is, they're all like, hey, let's just get in whoever. For but. the mother, I'll pass on seeing her play any of these roles, I think. Is Trisha Paytas real? I don't know. I really don't know anymore. I don't know where the line is between real and not real. Trisha closes out this absolute cringe fest of a video with saying that she will probably be on the internet long after everyone else is gone and even plugs her social media just to add that flavor hmm. of this being a real interview, which it wasn't. And even if there was a chance that they were going to have her on there for the interview, why would they now? Even though Trisha mentioned recently it's that- It's like, here's the thing, because I don't want to be, you know, blunt. Or, you know, like complete, like one, like one honest, but at the same time, it's like, I just feel like it's something to know of. I feel like if she's on the internet, like, you know, cause I know like she's having a kid and stuff. And, um, anyways, uh, I think she's having a kid. I heard, so I know like she, um, hot tea, she, she did a video where, uh, it was like talking on her doing her only fan stuff while she's pregnant. And I'm like, that is wild, but I'm saying it's like I'm pretty sure she ain't the first one to do some stuff like that. So, but anyways, um, here's the thing. I feel like when her kid gets older and people overall know like who you know the like her mom is, that I honestly, unless her kid goes to like private school or online schooling or something, that would be the only way that that would be avoided. But if not, then it's like, I, I just feel like, I feel like it's going to either that is like the kid going to be, if he goes to a public school, it's like, that's going to probably be one of the worst options, to, you know, to do to that kid. But so I'm like, yeah, online school, but it's either going to be that or it's just going to be so much competition or she's going to do something out there where it's like, there ain't no recovery from that. Like you done messed up. And so, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Maybe she can. Let's see. But I, I just think that, you know, like with her, it's like if some stuff goes down, it's like, you know, don't talk like that. Make it seem like that, um, you know, you everything going to be good and things and nothing else crazy is going to happen. Because I'm like, there's been some time she's, she, you know, I'm like almost falling under. So she hasn't been eating very much fast food. She also gave us two mukbangs this week featuring the eats from In-N-Out as well as Domino's Pizza, along with a little story time as to why she left Domino's. The return of Domino's trash! Ah! Hmm. Spoiler alert, this video is gross. Trisha is constantly smacking her lips and licking her fingers, <laughs> and I would nearly say that this is probably how she got COVID. Not the show that she went to where people weren't wearing masks. Like the licking of the fingers every yeah. time and no napkin. Even the comments. Even before something. COVID, I just, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think like, has there ever been times where, no, I usually, even when I'm like, even with like, if it's like some like really like if I'm eating like a, with a cinnamon roll and then like that frosting gets on. I will wipe my hands. I will like do whatever I can to just make sure my hands are clean or just go and wash them and stuff. But yeah, I, um, you know, I, I just can't do, especially now with COVID. I'm like, I, right, there would be no way possible. Somebody would legit have to be like grabbing my hand and I would be having to struggle just to not lick my fingers. But I'm like, can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'll be walking around like triggered. I got like a hazmat suit on half of the times when I'm like out in public. So 
yeah, bro, I just, I couldn't do it. And it's like to do it like now with COVID, it's like, fam, if you still don't believe in COVID, I'm like, something wrong with you. But anyway, about this. When reading 29 minutes of Trisha eating the entire city of Los Angeles from underneath her nails, hygiene is a foreign mm. concept to Trish. Just a tip for you, if you don't want to get sick, don't lick your fingernails and hands, etc. Germs are spread from your hands. Yep. Can you imagine all the bacteria under those nails? Ugh. It makes me want to hurl, in all honesty. Ass. I feel like if someone doesn't understand the My basic chest. concept My chest of the is need tight for a now. napkin, then you probably don't wash your hands after you pee. Like, I just feel the ick off yeah. of her. Unfortunately, her only option for water while she inhales her pizza is Dasani. Now, hear me out, but I think this is, like, proof that Trisha was still watching Shane's videos at least up to a year ago, right? Like, we know she doesn't have an original thought. And while the Dasani conspiracy, or whatever you want to call it, was around way before Shane, it was really brought back to life after he made a video about it. They say that has, like, salt in it and it makes you thirstier. I don't know if that's true, but... Trisha rants and raves again about her celebrity obsession and how she goes through phases of who she likes to be obsessed with and emulate with cosplay or whatever. And it really dawns on me just how much time she spends watching movies and shows. I just, I cannot relate. Like, where do you find the time to just watch shows constantly? Trisha's mom joins her for some pizza towards the end of the mukbang and maybe I'm just a softie, but does her mom seem like so wholesome, like sweet? Like, she gives her cash and is running around doing errands for Trisha's birthday. Like, she just seems so hmm. nice. I haven't seen or watched much of her, so you might disagree or have an example of how I may be wrong for that. But she just seems so nice in this one. But that is going to be it for the Trisha tea for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe I to did. the Hot I Tea did. channel. Hit that yep. notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any new uploads. In addition to the hottest tea, we also give you some deep dives in the form of our Hot Tea History playlist that you can check out while you wait for the next Hot Tea video. Let us know any deep dive topics that you're dying to hear about or any thoughts in the comments down below. You can also stalk us on Twitter if you want to. And for now, here is my bleach. Oh, that's 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 nice. Well, like, you know, a good way to end the video off. Fam. It's stuff like that and then like puppies and stuff. See? I'm saying, I'm like, it's things like that. It's like, especially like that. Those are like some of the videos that I love. It's like when just a bunch of like dogs or puppies is just running and just having fun. And I'm like, it, it's stuff like that. It's like, you know, you just, you can't, you can't, it's un, it's unmatched. It's unmatched. But anyways, no, that was a solid video. I, I did, uh, you know, it's always, it's always, it's always good watching the hot tea video. It's like, it's always refreshing. It's just one of those things. It's like, you just go back to, and it's like, man, like, I love it. All right. So make sure if you guys haven't go show my friend hot tea, some love and support, subscribe to her channel. Like she, she linked out all her stuff towards the end of the video, but yeah, subscribe to her YouTube channel, subscribe to her personal channel, Ray Rahimi, subscribe to her business channel, build your pocket, show the most amount of love and support. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace.